<laughs> that this is a turtle arm. G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're in Harvey Bay again. We're ready to find some awesome shells. Come with me. Yet. Only a couple coral pieces, some serous cones and that. But look at this giant baler piece. Look at that pattern. Wow. That would have been incredible once upon a time. That would have been massive. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it's been sitting for years. No, sorry, not years. I've got no idea how long. But look at that pattern. I'm pretty sure it's been storming here recently. So we might find some bigger shells. Dang, hopefully one of these, huh? I watched the last episode of Us at This Beach. Uh, I believe it's one of the previous episodes on my channel. We had a lot of problems with the wind in the videos, but today I've bought a microphone and the wind is like a lot better. So you should be able to hear me better. Here's a big old serif cone. Remember at this beach, there's plenty of serif cones. There's like thousands. Look at this, there's two. There's another one buried. That was pretty satisfying, serif cones. And here's a nice white one. So yeah, it's actually pretty windy here today, but you guys shouldn't be able to hear any of it at all. We're excited to find some shells. We've got our trolley there. Got a little petri. We're stoked. Made the three hour drive. There's another serif cone. Awesome. All right, let's continue. Guys, we've got like a piece of sea sponge and look underneath it. Oh, it's actually connected to it. A piece of uh, hammer clam shell. Now this sponge is actually far dead. Look at that. So I'm going to take all the sponge off of it. Yeah, that's been dead for a long time. I love these hammer clams. Shame it's not in one piece. But yeah, that's cool. I love hammer clams. There's, oh wow, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? Probably won't keep it though, it's broken. Do you think I should keep it for mum? My mum loves these uh, barnacles. I'll keep it for her. Cool, as. Still got a long beach to Big go. old pen shell with coral attached to it. Wow, that's massive. Look at that. Absolutely huge, holy moly. So that is for sure dead, I would say. That is so cool though. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? Wow, huge. Very interesting, I'll have a think about it, whether I'll keep it or not. Comment down below though, do you reckon I should keep it? So interesting, isn't it? Look at the size of this sand crab down here, guys. He's massive. Wow, hi mate. How are ya? Hi, how are you? Look at the size of him. Cool. Yeah, what is it, what is it, Petey? What, what is, is it? it? Mr. Krabs, yeah. Give him a little bat. <laughs> cool. What is it? What is it? Oh! <laughs> Oh, you never seen one of those, have you? Scare you. He's <laughs> never seen one of those crabs. Even any big crab, he's never seen. What was it? Hey. Look at this, guys. We're very close to the water. We've walked like what, two kilometers, a kilometer and a half. Look at this. We found a little starfish fella, and he was actually just upright, sort of sitting up. So. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. I don't have my gloves in my bag, so I'm gonna have to be really gentle with him. gentle with him but look at this he's moved from here and you can see all his little footprints all the way over to here now the tide is still dropping and it won't be high until about 10 o'clock at night tonight so what we're gonna do is move him over to the water because we don't want, want him to dry and die and obviously there's no water around here closest is over there and that's also gonna dry up and he's not making it there that's like a three-week walk for him so we're gonna take him over to the water be really gentle with the guy and uh, wow, look at that. Yeah, let's take him over, hey? In this little pool here, we'll give him a little wash off and a bit of breathing air so he can breathe for a second. Try to be really gentle with him, eh? Look at that. Wow. Is that cool or what? But yeah, we don't have the gloves with us right now. I left them in the trolley, unfortunately. So we'll just have to be gentle with him. Look at that. Oh, he's such an cupping to me. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, let's take him out. 
we made it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Come on, little fella. Come on, little buddy. We'll take him a little bit further out so he has time to find a nice little home. That'll probably do. There you go, buddy. Have a good one. That was pretty cool. Yeah. We got a hammer clam, exactly what we came out here for, but it has a purple sponge all over it. Look at that. I have no idea if it's live, so I'm probably going to leave it. Look at that though. Look at the hammer clam there. That's shut as well, so that might also be alive. How cool is that, hey? Very cool. Hey, guys, I think we have a dead crab. Look at the size of him. Anyone home? Whoa. I oh, know. Oh my god, he's gigantic. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Holy <laughs> cow, guys! That's a giant mud crab. That is a giant mud crab, and he was just sleeping. Oh, you're a massive dude. <laughs> we thought you were dead. Yeah, I had no idea either. That's so that is a giant mud crab, you guys. Wow. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Look at him compared to my foot. Look at him. That thing will take your fingers off. No joke. Yeah, Peter was sniffing it because he thought he was dead. Look at that. Oh, I don't think he can see because there's sand on him. Wow. You awake? Oh, he's massive. The things you find out here, guys. I found this live clam. Look at that. It actually reminds me of the clam, the live clams in Florida. Never been there, but I see them all the time in videos. What is it, Peter? Yeah, he's really sus on it. He knows it's alive. <laughs> it's not actually closing. Oh. Yeah, that's alive. Did you just see it close yeah. a bit? That's so cool. Huh. Very interesting, aren't they? I thought it was a pink urchin walking up. Oh, yeah. Like Dang. Pink colored one. Score of the day, I reckon. Mm. I love that. We found quite a bit of bones. I just showed you guys a big bit of bone earlier. That's a big piece there. And look at this. I believe, pretty positive, that this is a turtle arm. Uh, yeah, you can actually see the scales along here. I'm 99% sure this is a turtle arm. Isn't that incredible? It's massive. So we got that piece there. Then we had another piece here that, lo that looks like the shell. That's just incredible. Wow. That is massive. Like, look at my foot here. It's a size 12 foot. And that's a turtle arm. Wow. Incredible. All right, let's keep searching. A pile of the shells up here. Isn't that just incredible on how many there is? But look at these colors in this, like, I don't even know what it is. Maybe an oyster? Look at that. Yeah, that's an oyster. Awesome. Then look at the colors in this one. Wow. That's cool. Very nice pattern. Never seen that before. Huh. Cool. Anything else? Nice serif cone. Of course. Whoa! Triton shell. What the heck? You're joking. Look at that. That's like an old Nicobar Triton or something sand in there wow tiny predator hole cool oh yeah and this i did see but whoa it's actually what the heck what is that on i've got no idea but look at it it's like a toilet shell that's what i call it a little toilet shell i won't keep it because it's on all of that but I'm definitely keeping those cool Phew. we're almost at the end of the beach now and check out this little thing Look at it. So it's a uh, like a scallop shell with a clam shell on it, with barnacles on it. How incredible is that? That is so cool. So it's still conjoined. You can move it a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? For sure, empty. Look at that. That is one of the coolest I've ever found. Coolest clams I've ever found anyway. Cool. Look how far we've come, guys. And then what we're going to do is take the trolley back out, back to the car, and then we're going to walk the flats out there because we have taken this 
trolley out there but it's like super rigidy so it just bounces the whole time and it's really annoying so we're gonna take it back to the car and uh yeah, yeah.